Hey guys, Psychic Pictures here, and welcome back to Let's Review Anime. Let's go straight into High School DxD Episode 6. It starts with Issei going into the club room, where Asia is taking a shower and has her clothes hung up. Issei takes her, takes her bra and gushes over it because it's a boob holder. Konako catches him and Asia also catches him. The situation is funny, but not as good as the other funny scenes. Moving on, Rhea says they need early morning training because of the fight with the fallen angels. As Issei goes to hand out flyers, Rhea talks with Azia about the sleeping arrangements. The theme song plays and we have a training montage with Issei and Rhea. Azia then shows up to bring Issei some food. Rias, Azia, and Ia, and Issei then return to Issei's house, announcing that Azia will be staying with Issei. They have an awkward talk with Issei's parents, and Rias has something on her mind. I won't spoil what it is just yet, though. Watching the episode makes it obvious, but for this review, I'll keep quiet. Azia then gets put into Issei's class, and much to Issei's friends' dismay, Azia announces that she is staying with Issei. Azia and Issei are then seen going to the club room, and Rhea says that for Azia to go with Issei to a client's house. But Issei says he will go in Azia's place and meets a big, muscular guy, co gay cosplayer named Milton. This ends the first half. Overall, it was a little slow. But what is interesting is why Rias keeps spacing out. She did this three times in the episode already, and the general audience doesn't know why. Not much happened, but it solidifies Azia's life in the city. So after Issei talks with Milton, the pact isn't made, and Issei is upset about it. He goes for a nap in the nurse's office to improve his mood. When he wakes up, he finds Rias in the same bed, naked and asleep. Rias then says weird crap people should never really say in high school. Like, do you want to touch my boobs? You can if you want to. Uh, okay. She says this and immediately says for Issei to make a double pact, and then Issei can touch her. Akino sends Issei and Rias to a client's house full of samurai armor. This girl left her notebook at school, so Issei gets it for her, and... The girl has a boy problem. She makes a love letter due to Issei's suggestion. She lo gives her crush the letter via arrow, which shoots her crush right in the head. They meet the next day, and they fall head over heels for each other. Since Issei made a pact, Rhea says she will count to five, and until five, Issei can do whatever he wants to Rhea's breasts. At four, Issei doesn't do anything, just as everyone rock walks in. In return for Issei not doing anything, Rias hugs Issei. Akino then figures out that I Rias likes Issei. This ends the episode. So, overall, this was a slow episode. Not the best, but it filled out what it needed to to set up for the next arc. The only important things here are Rias spacing out and her feelings toward Issei. Other than that, it was a simple episode that was a little too simple. This has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time.